My beloved friends, it has been a good week. I don't know about you, but I've enjoyed this week in God's word. I still remember that memory text that's in my heart. Psalm 19 and verse 11, thy word have I hidden my heart that I might not sin against thee. We've learned this week that the word of God is to be prized and to be treasured and David treasured it. The word was precious, word of God alone. We learned that not only must we pre uh, love this word, but we must pass on this word, that, that this word uh, is critical. Our reformers felt it so critical that they died for it. John Wycliffe himself, condemned as a heretic, translated the Bible at great odds, suffered for it. William Tyndale, 140 years later, translates the Bible into English, suffers greatly, is burned at the stake after being strangled. Yet, that word lives on today in the King James Bible, largely derived from his translation. What an awesome blessing it is to pass on God's word. But we learn that passing it on is not enough. We must be enlightened by the Holy Spirit as we study that word. Jesus says in John 14 and John 16 that this spirit will lead us into all truth will bring back to our remembrance that which God is, uh, uh, which, which, which we have studied and that which he has deposited in us, and that that spirit will also teach of Jesus Christ and help us to understand the will of God. Everything that God has, the spirit is the only one that teaches. We also learn, beloved, that we ought to be, we ought to know that, that, that there is grace in this word of God. That it is Christ Jesus alone. This was the foundational truth, I think, that caused the most problems for the reformers against the Catholic Church and, and, the, and the papacy of that day. It was that they, the people didn't need to go to them. They could go to God and go through Jesus Christ themselves. They didn't need indulgences and they didn't need all the traditions and they didn't need all the other things that, that the church was heaping on them. They didn't need the scorn and the derision for, 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 for not being learned men and women. If they could get the word of God, they could get Jesus Christ. And if they had Jesus Christ, they could overcome through Christ alone. They could be accepted in the beloved and saved. Ah, beloved. But then we learned that obedience is critical. That it's not just... Enough to have the word, to know the word, to know about Jesus. We must actually obey. We must actually do what God has asked us to do. I don't know what has maybe touched you this week. There's so many wonderful touchstones in this study, especially as it looks back to the faithfulness of our pioneers and our and our uh, our, and the famous uh, the the blessed reformers uh, of of the Reformation movement who continued to exercise faith against whatever odds were placed against them. I don't know what odds you're facing. Maybe you're facing some challenge today. Maybe there's something happening in your life, maybe in the life of a loved one. Help them know, based on this study, that they can have faith in God, that they can trust God, that they can trust his word, and that they can trust Jesus Christ, who has made every provision for our salvation. May God bless you.